Greetings person currently watching this, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, Tales of the Burning Sand Edition. So, while I was off camera, I went ahead and made the nano thingamabobber. Also, because I didn't want to end up flailing around over here, I reread the note, and apparently what I gotta do is put this underneath this thing and detonate it. Which basically means just use it, like right here. Good enough. There we go. Now get a safe distance away, before it exploderizes. Oh, let's uh, do this, so that way we can see the explosion. Whenever you're ready. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Looks more like an EMP than a bunch of wee mechanical beasties. Alright, whatever. Did your thing, dude. What do you got to say for yourself now? If I can get over there. Uh, safe is over here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Cool. Okay. What do you give us? Payment. Frag grenades and frag mines. And then the next thing. Okay. So, what is the next thing? The... Uh, no. Uh, misc. Task 2. Firefly Soup for the Soul. Oh, stranger. How you have brought joy to the Mojave today. My eyes welled up with tears when I saw the hateful Tower of Opulence disappear in a heartwarming display of explosives and barely contained nanomachine destruction. Having it cleared from my sight is a dream that's festered in my soul for years, unattainable and maddening. Hold on a second. There we go. I've already transferred your reward to the pneumatic tube safe. In addition to your payment, I've included the leftover munitions I had from the failed attempts to bring that metal beast to justice over the years. I trust they will serve you in some useful capacity. Now that I am at last at peace with my residence, I implore you to provide an additional service. When I was just a lad, my father would occasionally treat the family to a meal of unparalleled succulence and perfection, a wonderful ambrosia that goes by the rather humble name of Spicy Firefly Soup. I'm... wait... Th this isn't going where I think it's going, is it? It has been years, nay, decades, since this heavenly broth has passed my lips, and I would give much to enjoy a steaming bowl of the culinary... I see where this is going. Reminiscing on my father and the times we shared, I believe that the smell alone would bring back a rush of memories that my brain is sadly reluctant to recall. I have not seen fireflies in these parts in years, but he wants me to... <sighs> whatever. I have not seen these fireflies in these parts in years, but I am confident that they still exist. To the east of Good Springs, the source of Good Springs water, Good Springs source, lies a fetid expanse of shallow pools, murky, sulfurous miasma, and other assorted unpleasantness. In my sparse conversations with travelers, I've heard that the bloatflies are thick as gnats there, and fireflies are known to seek companionship with their wretched creatures. In order to attain the perfect flavor, it's necessary to combine several different ingredients, though it makes me sound like a bit of a dandy regular firefly soup won't do. It must be the spicy variety to recreate the delicious dish that was my father's... I'm making him dinner. I'm making him dinner. I'm... I'm his heir... I'm his manservant. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's... Let's go be some mysterious person's manservant, shall we? Okay, so do I have the... No... Doesn't look like he gave it to me. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to go find a campfire. Alright, so... Let's see. We need fast travel, for one. We're gonna head to... Here. You see, that's the good spring source. And, yeah, I think I know the area he's talking about. There's a little pool with, uh... Radioactive water. It's just this away. I believe that's what he's going on about. So there's fireflies over there. Apparently, oh wait, I think it's over here too. I think there's some area over here. Let's go check over here too. Through this destroyed building. But yeah, yep, yep, yep. Those. I'm guessing that's from the firefly. Because I saw one earlier. I when I started this, this. Yep, fireflies. Uh, not my weapon. Uh, hold on. Weapon, weapon, weapon. Uh, there we go. You're not my weapon. Whatever. I'm not in the mood. Oh, you explode upon death. That's rather annoying, because that's, that's actually kind of annoying when you think about it. Because what if you're a person who uh, 
expect your character for unarmed or melee weapons. You're going to be right in the middle of that explosion when it happens. Okay, so... Can I loot it? There we go. Firefly gland and firefly meat. May as well take them both. We'll probably need them both. Alright, so the other one was... Other bodies were over here, weren't they? Oh yeah, this, there's one. You. I think there's one right here. You. Excellent. Okay. Alright, so, well, there you go. That's one thing I'm definitely going to have to do off camera. Is find my gun, because this definitely isn't my gun. Oh, dead power gainer. Well, you're not putting this good use, so I will. Do you have a friend? Usually there's two here. Huh, maybe he survived. Ooh, that's bomb. Is your friend here? Did he survive? I don't see your friend. Oh, well. Alright, so let's head over. Oh, there he is. No, crap, 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 crap. I set off one of the bombs. Alright, anyways, um... Running low on smokes again. Why do you think I care? Alright, I know there's a fireplace over here, so we can probably use that fireplace to see what other ingredients we need to cook up our master's dinner. And what are you? Have you ever seen this ramp here? What purpose do you serve? What reason for your... Whatever, doesn't care, you're not a fireplace. That's a fireplace. Alright, so. Let's see, what do we need? What do we need? Um... Where is it at? It'll probably be in the apps, because this is in uh, alphabetical order. Alright, let's see. Here's fiery soup. Okay, I need brock flour and pinion nuts, which I think I can get some nearby. Okay. And then I'm guessing I need to go up to the S's for spicy firefly soup. Okay, and then I need spicy seasoning. Spicy seasoning is made with buffalo gourd, jalapeno pepper, and xander root. Eesh. Okay, so the first thing we should probably get is the, uh, I think it was the Xander root and the, the Xander root and the poppy seeds, right? To make the base thing. And then after that, we'll worry about the other ingredients. I believe that's what it was. Let me double check. Want to make doubly sure. Okay, uh, uh, what's right there? Firefly soup. Yeah, I need, okay, I need a brock flour and pinion nuts. Okay. So, all right. If need be, I will simply jump cut it to once I have these ingredients. Because I know these ingredients are found in and around these this area. Because you just you just pick them up off the ground. But I don't know their exact locations because I don't really ever look for them. Ah, I think you're pinion nuts, aren't you? No. You're white horse nettle. You're not what I need at all. Not in the least. Okay. How about up here? No. Doesn't look like it so far. Oh, oh, oh. You. Maybe. Uh, no, you're all dead. Oh, crap. Why are you dead? Those are Xander roots. And I need some Xander roots. Hmm. Well, no, you're probably more white horse nettle, aren't you? Well, darn. Oh, Xander root. And geckos. Hi, geckos. Go away, geckos. Bit overkill for these geckos, but I don't care. Let me reload real quick. Here we go. Anybody gonna join in? Here's something. Oh, wait. Um, hold on. Go ahead and grab this gecko meat because... Uh, it's probably one of the best food items in the game because it's just it's plentiful and easy to get okay, How about up here? There's another gecko God dang it gecko. Why can't you just leave me alone? There we go Okay, go ahead and grab you uh, no gecko meat just gecko eggs and gecko hide which you can't really do much of anything with those I think you can make gecko back to leather armor, but it's pretty much just leather armor. Oh lone wolf radio I don't think there's anything I need in you. Let me go check. Is there anything inside of you that I need for this mission? It's kind of annoying, man. I hope this isn't like the entire thing is I'm just this dude's manservant. Okay, so far, nothing that looks like I need it. No. No. Ooh, Wasteland Survival Guide. I will take that, though. I probably won't use it now because I kind of have a system when it comes to using those books. But once I get to the point where I can use those books... I will. Alright, so... Alright, yeah, I guess I'll just jump cut it. So, yeah, if when I find each ingredient, I'll, uh... When I find each ingredient, I'll show you guys me finding the ingredients. Oh, wait, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You are thinking of what I need. Brock flowers. Okay, you are part of what I need, but you're not the... You're not the, uh, the... the what was it? The seeds. Poppy seeds, right? Yeah, poppy seeds, I think is what it was. Wait. I might not know where to get poppy seeds then, because I don't think poppy seeds were in this game. Hmm, 
Maybe that was added by the mod. Oh man, I hope it's not added by the mod. Because if it's added by the mod, then that means I'm going to have to go track down somebody who has it. It's not going to be something that's naturally occurring. Either way, like I said, I will uh, jump cut it once I find other pieces. Or if anything interesting happens while I'm looking for the other pieces. So yeah, see you then. Oh cool, look. Okay, so we found some buffalo gourd seeds. So there you go. I think I might be able to make one of the pieces. Maybe. Let me head back to the uh, campfire and we'll see. Alright, so I looked. It wasn't poppy seeds. I don't know why I, think, I was thinking it was poppy seeds. It's pinion nuts. I mean, they both begin with a P. So I guess that's why. Alright, I'll look in this... I'll try and look in this area. What I'm going to do is uh, Good Springs is this way. So I'll head to Good Springs and I'll see if any of the vendors there have either of those things. Jalapeno peppers or pinion nuts. And also, I'll keep an eye out for them along the way. Just thought I would give you guys an update. I seriously hope this isn't going to be the rest of the freaking thing. I really do not. Better not just be, oh, thank you, young stalwart manservant. Now here's, now go do my laundry and return this book for me while you're at it. too. Because after all, you're not a battle-hearted, no, it's, it's even that, it's, he even said, you are a battle-hardened mercenary, a youthful sprite. With that gleam in his eye, like he gets things done. He so he knew that, but then he's like, "Yes, I, these are the thing qualities you have. I'm going to use you as a servant. You know, just all the things I could do for him, like defuse bombs or defeat bands of bloodthirsty mercenaries or oh, jalapeno, come to me. I never really cook it; just make gecko steaks, and I just live off gecko steaks. They're plentiful, easy to make, and the creature that you, that you get the meat from is easy to kill." Geckos are easy to kill, their meat is plentiful, and gecko steaks are easy to make. So usually I just eat gecko steaks and MREs. Hey, Bighorn, you know what pinion nuts look like? Kind of a, kind of in the middle of a search for them, but I have no idea what they look for. It's kind of hard to look for something when you don't know what it looks like. You know? Didn't think you would. Don't anybody knows what a pinion nut looks like. I mean, honestly, who uses pinion nuts? What use do they have? Wait, can I tip you? Yeah. I know you can tip Robin. No, you can't tip Big Horners. Probably wouldn't be a very smart idea. Hey, Chet, you got pinion no. nuts? Yes, yes, you do. Excellent. Hopefully one is enough. Satisfied. Okay, so I think... Hopefully I don't need two pinion nuts. So long as I only need one pinion nuts... I'm guessing by uh, that, it's like it's saying one handful of them or something. Um, So long as I don't need two handfuls of pinion nuts... We should be good, so I'll make my way to the fireplace. Unfortunately, there is no fireplace in Good Springs, and I don't have any mods that add anything like that, any cook thing to be used for cooking into Good Springs. Because again, I try to keep mostly vanilla. So, again, jump cut again, once we get to the fireplace. Stupid old man, making me cook for him. I'm a hard mercenary. I don't much appreciate this. <laughs> once I get my hands on you, I swear. Maybe I should use paying customer. It'd be pretty bad business practice to harm your paying customers. Alright, never mind, won't do anything to me. I'm angry at him. Oh, hey, look, I found a suitcase. There's nothing inside! Okay, so we're back at the fireplace. So, can I make everything that I need? Yes, here's the spicy seasoning. Uh, and the firefly soup. Yes, so we only need one handful of pinion nuts. Okay, so, let's do the spicy seasoning. Firefly soup. And spicy firefly soup. Oh, frapjous day! Alright, so let's fast travel back to Good Springs and deliver this old man his, I don't, his meal. I was going to say his last meal, but it probably wouldn't be a good idea to off him, considering that he is paying me to do crap. Alright. Alright, cool, so we're here. So let's put this into here, I'm guessing. Uh, where was it? Is it going to be here? I'm guessing it's going to be in here, then. Uh, where are you? No, this East Care... Uh, maybe you won't have... Ah, there it is. Spicy Firefly Soup. Like that. Seconds after you carefully loaded the Spicy Firefly Soup into the pneumatic tube container, you hear a soft, faint click from far above. Apparently, your benefactor's desire for the nostalgia-inducing soup was not exaggerated. And he or she waited... Finger on the... Con oh! Finger on the conveyance button. For your return, I thought it was like, he or she waited on their fingers. I was like, wow, that's a... Got a lot of upper body strength, my uh, employer. After an hour or so of waiting, wow, you hear a loud whoosh of air, indicating a return message. It would appear your soup made the journey intact. 
All right, ooh, what's our new thing, above Bobber? What do we got? Bottle caps, ooh, caravan lunch. That's Those are really good. Elevator gear, interesting. Brock flower, buffalo gourd seed, Nevada agave. Ooh, wasteland omelet, those are good too. Xander roots, those are made with death claw eggs. And if you don't know what a death claw is, they're scary. Ooh, pinto bean pods. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a pinto bean omelet or something. Okay, and then tails. Task three, D die gear stalt. Sure. Okay, so uh, let's go to here. All right. And when I had thought the war and the wastes had stripped all kindness from this world, there appears a stranger performing a service for another. Yes, but I only did it for money. Without promise of compensation, if you wouldn't have done it, I would have blown up your house. No mention of down payment, if you wouldn't have, I would have shot you in the face. Or caps exchanging hands, if you wouldn't have given me my money, I probably would have set you on fire. Or even expectations of recognition. Yeah, I can go without being recognized. My hat is truly off to you, wanderer. Ah, so he wears a hat. Now the plot thickens. I am not sure if the tears welling in my eyes are due to the soup or the realization that some still journey with something other than greed in their hearts. I took the bowl back to my table. Careful to hold my breath, I didn't want the smell to awaken a memory before I was ready, potentially spilling the precious broth before I had time to prepare myself. You are taking way too much pleasure in a bowl of soup. Ha has... Has anybody else on this planet ever had this experience? Like, any of you guys watching this, have you ever had this experience from a bowl of soup? This must be some bomb-ass soup. As when I was a child, I closed my eyes, breathed deep, spoon grasped in my tiny hand, listening to the voice of my father. It was as if I was twelve again, with one breath, with one deep breath. Today, son, I hunted for you. I killed for you. For you to live, another has died. Well, it's like the Tool song says, devour to survive, so it is, so it's always been. I tried not to cry. I did not want anyone to die for me. But I was hungry, so hungry. You, 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 you're getting kind of cannibalish there, dude. Just saying. Eat. Remember to take the life I took for you meaningful. Never shame me into wishing I had let you go hung- who says that to their child? You better not make me regret not letting you starve. What the fuck was wrong with your father, dude? I did not understand, but I ate. I hated him then, but now I think he was trying to teach me something of balance. How there is no give without take. How every action has a consequence. How every night with a full belly is the mortal expense of another. Unless you, uh... Or a vegetarian. Though, because plants are considered alive, aren't they? Are plants considered alive? A brutal lesson to learn at such an age. For every lecture, for every terrible shaming, there was time spent on his strong shoulders, laughing into the sun, dancing in the desert. My daddy, the hunter, the killer, hunched over the fire. Dancing, ridiculous, goose-stepping, laughing, as if to drown out the moon, laughing and dancing with his little boy on his shoulders, his little boy grasping at ash from the flames and shrieking in delight. Man, I wonder if this dude is like, if he's got like a text-to-speech or speech-to-text kind of thing and he's just talking to a thing, or if his fingers are just like flying across some old typewriter. Like, you know, just like cartoon status where it's like, you don't even see his hands, it's just a hand-shaped blur on top of the keyboard. You have done me a great service, Wanderer. I was afraid these memories had long eroded, forever inaccessible, and here they are again, awoken and cast back into the light by the smell of soup. My father's soup. Technically, it's my soup, but I, I don't know what you're getting at. Look at me, doddering on. Again, who writes that? Especially after writing all of that. You must feel more like a nursemaid than a resolution specialist. Yes, actually, I feel quite like a nursemaid. At the moment, listening to me ramble, such patience deserves a bonus. In addition to your standard compensation, I will send a few gourmet creations and ingredients to assist you in pursuit of your own culinary development. Or culinary. 
Whichever, however you want to pronounce it, I know what you mean. As much as I have encroached upon your valuable time, I fear I must beg your services once more. I would have invited you up to my residence for a personal introduction, but it seems that my elevator is suffering mechanical difficulties. I have determined the issue to be a pair of stripped gears, like I can see that, which prevent the platform from tracking on its rails properly. I have one replacement gear, but two are necessary for it to become functional. I have sent the single functional gear to you so that you might find its match. Sadly, I do not remember its model number. You will have to make a close visual comparison to procure the appropriate part. I wonder if he wants me to go to the Gibson junkyard, because there's a junkyard nearby. Maybe that's what I need to do. In regards to finding a location that might have such a gear, I would suggest visiting Old Lady Gibson's junkyard. <laughs> awesome. See, I told you, I'm just that good. I finish quests before I'm even given them. I believe I saw a machine there that may have the necessary gear. Once you acquire it, place both gears in the safe, and I can finish the repairs. Best of luck. Mr. Higginbottom, or, well, M. Higginbottom, but that's what you call men, is Mr. Either way, we will head to the Gibson Training Yard, which, or Scrapyard, which is basically behind that water tower, in the next episode, because I am all out of time for this episode. Still, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Bye.